Hello HD Racing fans. See I'm uh, getting ready to put in the cams in my 1275 um, Sportster XL motor. So I thought I'd make a quick little video of it. Um, try to explain to you a little bit how it goes. Cams go back in. Um, this motor is 1275 Hammer motor. Uh, it's a race only motor. Um, even though I'm running it in the super street class in AMRA. Um, so I got the cams and the cam cover sitting here in the gasket ready to go in. I've greased the uh, the bushings, put a little um, builder's grease on there to uh, for a little insurance upon startup. Um, th this motor, the uh, it's running 600 lift hammer cams in it. Um, it's got the BFH uh, hammer heads where they change the valve angle and uh, so it can only run 600 lift cams but along with the uh, SNS .725 roller rockers gives it about 640 lift. They have bigger valves in them so they breathe just about as good as if you had a 700 plus lift cam in it. Um, you change the angle. Uh, Dan's doing a lot of uh, neat stuff out there, Dan and Aaron. Um, so. Um, I have the lifters in this bike, so we're going to have to lift them as I'm putting the cams in. It has the uh, zipper lifter blocks, extension blocks, and the tubes. But And I had Dark Horse uh, balance the bottom end and shave the wheels in this. And uh, put the, uh, the, uh, the rods in it. But um, th they also shaved away for the lift on the cases and the bushings a little bit they had to um, so that the, the big lift cams don't hit the case. Um, this motor I had some trouble I'll, I'll tell you just a little bit about the uh, pinion gear and the oil pump gear. Uh, I, I spun the oil the pinion gear and my cams went out of time that's why I've got the motor down and uh, my valves kissed my pistons and bent my push rod so just a little keyway, a 98 cents Harley keyway in there, but this pinion gear only takes about a quarter of that keyway. So in order to eliminate uh, this difficulty, um, I welded, I, I took off, I had a brass oil pump gear and I put a steel one on, and I welded the pinion gear to the oil pump gear, just put little spots of weld on it, um, uh, went around. There's one there, there's one over here. Had a welder weld the, uh, the pinion gear to the oil pump gear. And I had 70 pounds of pressure on this nut before, now I've got 80 this time. So the purpose of all this, the welding piece, is to marry these two gears together because the oil pump gear uses about three quarters of that, uh, of that keyway. So then it marries uh, the pinion gear to the oil pump gear and uses that keyway and, and uh, hopefully I won't uh, uh, mess up the motor as fast. If you look real closely here you can see where they uh, they shaved away on this uh, race um, for the, the lift on the the extra lift on the cams. Dark Horse did that for me. So anyways I'll, uh, I'm going to put the cams in now so bear with me please. This cam has three dots on it so that means it is the front intake and by the way this is a 70 or no it's a 2002 uh, Sportster XL so I left the, uh, the fine tooth pinion gear in there. Some people say the gear is since it's fine tooth it has less stability than the older 99 and back um, thicker gear but I don't think it's a big deal, but um, here we got one um, dot on the cam. So this is the rear exhaust. What your your intention is? They have little marks on these, and you have to line them all up. Now I'll put the main um, cam in there. see just a small speck of something there. I want to make sure I don't have any type of foreign matter on this. There we go. And I 
Let's see if I can't get these lined up now. On each one of these gears. Fit them all so they coordinate and you end up with the dots all in the same spot. So right now I have the pinion gear mark along with the cam gear. I have this gear, the rear exhaust is one off. So I got to pull it. Try to bring it one tooth down. There we go. Now, front intake, I'm one off, one tooth off too. So now, I got the pinion gear and the main cam gear, the rear cam gear, the main cam gear, and the front intake. So now, I take the front exhaust, which has just got one dot on it. Well, two dots really, no. Two, because the rear one is the one with one dot, the rear exhaust, but this is the front exhaust. Marry that up to the... Oop, i got to lift the lifter up. I got the lifters in this. And what do you know, I got lucky and it went right in the right spot. So... I'm going to rotate the motor a little to just check and see, make sure. And I see I have the rear exhaust one tooth off. Take the motor a little more again. You want to make sure this is critical. They have to be right on. So they're on. So that's it. That's the way you put the cams in. Um, I'll go a little bit further by putting the, uh, the gasket. Make sure the surface is clean. I already cleaned that off. So. Yep. Sometime the rear part of this gasket, it's got a pin up here, it doesn't want to stay. Makes it a little difficult. Then you got to make sure you got the right length Allen bolts for this cover. And I grease those races again, so. Oh. So then what I do is look for the pinion shaft race. I line it up just so it's about even and you can feel it went on. Push it forward. And I put a bolt or two in there. See that the uh, gasket is in there fine. So I'm just going to snug a few of these Allen bolts up. Now, if this was a new installation, you'd have to have these uh, the lifters out and uh, these lifter block extensions out, and you'd have to put the cover on just like I did and go in there and check for the end play. In the end play you have to put a feeler gauge and you pry the cam away from the case, the race on the case. You put a feeler gauge on there, you got to have between all maybe uh, three thousandths and twenty-five thousandths. I like them looser. I don't mind to have twenty, twenty, twenty-two. It makes a little noise but uh, for a race bike you want it to be loose. And uh, you, you make sure you got that. You, it's kind of hard to get a feeler down in there, but you feel it. And uh, if, if you have too loose, you got to put in spacers. They sell different size spacers in the, uh, on the side of the cams to uh, bring it down to the, uh, 
the 25 to 3 thousandths distance. So anyways, um, that's it. That's how you put the cams back in a um, 2002 Sportster XL. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it if you sub my channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I try to get back with everybody. Thanks again.